Thank you so much. Thank you so much from, from the food to, to just your hospitality. It's amazing, amen. Amen. I took the food home the first night and made the mistake and went and changed clothes and came back down to eat. Food said, find me. <laughs> Sit down at the table last night and I started out by myself. They heard that bag rattling since folk came like roaches. <laughs> Amen. Folk who have, I hadn't seen in the house all week come running out, trying to talk to me. I'm going to talk to me now. Amen. But thank you. Thank you so much. You have been a blessing to my heart and to my mind. Kind of sad that this is the last night. For number one, I am enjoying myself. All right. Preaching God's word. Yes, number two, sir. I just don't want to go back to work. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Feel good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Tonight, this final night, I need your prayers. The Lord is placing something heavy on my heart. And I just want to follow him. Amen. Amen. Coming from the book of Romans, that 12th chapter, verses 1 and 2. Romans, the 12th chapter, verses 1 and 2. Thank you, Mount Moriah. There are some of you who have been here every night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. May God bless you. I, I look out and I see the King family. Amen. I know I'm all right, King. Amen. Amen. For you. Amen. For the deacons to this choir, thank you so much. Amen. Romans chapter 12 shall begin in verse 1. Simply says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. If I had to give you one advice, just a little advice for this last night, and that would be live for God. Live for God. I found out so many times that people are living for one another. Parents, you have to be careful because you'll call yourself living for your children. Living to give them everything that they want. And then when they get grown, they won't pay you any attention. I wish I had a witness here. Somebody's living for their job, trying to get to where they, they, they don't have to struggle anymore. But let me tell you, by the time you get there, you find out that time has moved forward and you miss out on God. Yeah. A lot of people are living for their spouse, trying to do everything they can to make them happy. But let me tell you something, you can't never make people happy. Amen, amen. What you have to learn, you have to do the can while you can and leave the rest up to the Lord. My brothers and my sisters, we ought to make up in our mind that we're going to live for God. Everybody wants to drive the best, wants to live in the best, want to wear the best. But, but unless you put on Jesus Christ, that is the best name brand you can ever wear. Yeah, yeah, it's all right to wear name brand stuff. But if you don't have Jesus in your life, that name brand will become your God. That car will become your God. That house will become your God. That church will become your God. But you got to understand it's not where you worship, just as long as you worship. I learned this, that, that the bigger the church, yeah, y'all already, thank you for helping me, thank you. 
Thank you. Not everybody in church is there for the right reason. Some of them out of prestige. Some of them are there because mama them was there. But if you're not there to serve the Lord, you'll get so caught up in church that you forget the reason why you come to church in the first place. It goes beyond a good choir. It goes beyond a good preacher. It goes beyond a big building. It's all about a giving, living, truly loving God. Paul wrote this letter to the Romans saying that he's trying to, to get there, to visit them. But just in case he doesn't make it, here are some things that they need to do. And he says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. And so because of God's great compassion on both the Jews and Gentiles in offering salvation through Christ, Paul urges believers to please God in their daily lives. Ask your neighbor this question, who are you trying to please? If they don't answer, you go to the other one because you know they ain't doing right. Who are we trying to please? Are we, we're trying to make people happy. And I learned something. The more you try to make people happy, the more people will try to use you. The more people will try to abuse you. The more people will try to take advantage of you. But is there anybody in the house who has given up on trying to please people but have laid up in their mind? to serve a true and a living God. I can tell you for a fact the same people you're trying to please will send you to hell. The same people you're trying to please will kill you. They'll have some chicken over your body and go ahead and mess around somebody else's life. The evil, the evil world is full of temptation and sin. Paul helps believers understand how they can live yeah. for God. Yeah. First of all, you have to have a made up mind. Yeah. And one thing I've learned is that everybody tries to please the world first. Matter of fact, if you take notice, it's the world that brings us back to Amen by myself. Maybe some of y'all didn't go out into the world like a few of us did. Some of us went out there. I wish I had a witness. Some of us was out there doing some of any and everything we could. And if you didn't do that, God bless your heart. But don't look down on us who have messed up some things. Who have done some things we weren't supposed to do. And, and, and I heard the scriptures say, train up a child in the way that they should go. That doesn't mean that they're going right away. That way he gets old, he shall return. Has anybody been out there and came back? I've been out there quite. Anything I was bad enough to do? Let me put it to you like this. Y'all don't tell nobody. I'm talking to y'all. I ain't talking to nobody. My nickname in Austin was Turner. Because anything you gave me to drink, I would... Thank you, help me, help me, help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank God for his saving power. Can anybody thank the Lord for saving power? I know we're here on the last night, but somebody needs to stand up and tell God, thank you. Because I should be dead, sleeping in my grave. I should be in the hospital. I should be locked up somewhere. But all oh, your grace and your mercy. Paul told the Roman believers to offer themselves to God so that their whole bodies would be for his glory. Not just on Sunday, but every day, their whole bodies would be for his glory. Our bodies, brothers and sisters, all that we have to offer. You may try to offer up money but that's going to run out after a while. 